Hey guys, it's me, Savvy Maggie, back for Vlogmas Day number five. How are you guys today? Um, I hope you guys had a great day. I had a busy day. Paige had a doctor's appointment. I had to go to work, you know, the regular. Um, just finished making some dinner, actually. Paige and I wanted to try some Bee Love Smack Alicious sauce because I'm going to be doing a seafood boil for Christmas Eve. So I just finished the sauce and it's so good. It's so good. I'm so mad that I don't have any seafood. You know, it's that time of year that once you get in the house, you don't want to go back out. So as bad as I want some crab legs and things like that, I don't want to go back outside. It is really cold today. You know that, I, that I'm here in Detroit in the Midwest, so it gets cold here. And um, I get a little more cold, you know, a little colder than others right now. So. I'm cold and I don't want to go back outside, but that sauce is bomb. I cannot wait to do the seafood boil. It's going to be so good. So I can't wait. But um, I hope you guys had a great day today. It is the fifth day of December. Christmas is in 20 more days. I hope you guys are ready. I'm ready because I'm not doing a lot for Christmas. I'm not. You know, Paige is 13 now. I don't have to go all out like I used to. I'm so happy about that. Uh, you know, I'm not overspending like I normally do. I always say, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm only going to, you know, spend this much. And then I'm way over budget. And that's way too much for one day, especially now because our kids have everything. They don't need anything. They get things just about every day. They don't even appreciate it. So they don't need anything like, you know, <sighs> like I remember I was just saying the other day, I remember when we would get that JCPenney catalog. You guys remember that? Oh my God, we would carry that thing around like it was the Bible. Mm -mm -mm. I remember when Christmas was super exciting. I still love Christmas, don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. I think it is really the most magical time of the year, the most wonderful time of the year. I think it really, really is. I love Christmas, but um, you know, it's so commercialized now. And it's just not the way it used to be. Do you guys, do your family still get together for Christmas? Because mine doesn't anymore. I remember when I was growing up, every year you look forward to that because you would see your cousins that you hadn't seen in a while or just family would get together and, you know, you had the good food and you would be all day. I remember my grandmother's house was so small. My grandmother had a two bedroom. Oh, I don't even know what style house that is. It's not a ranch. It wasn't a bungalow because it had an attic and a basement, but I can't think of the style of the house. But anyway. Um, in Detroit, we have so many different types of uh, homes, you know, architecture here in Detroit is really beautiful. But anyway, she had a small little two bedroom house, small living room, small dining room, and it would be all of the kids, their kids, my grandmother, you know, that was like it. She did so much for the holidays, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. My mom too, if we didn't have dinner at my great grandmother's house before she passed, or at my grandmother's, we would have it at my house. So I, you know, Christmas was just always huge for me. So now it's just myself, my daughter, and my sister has been here for like, I think the last two or three Christmases. But um, other than that, it's just been, you know, Paige and myself. After, um, you know, before I, when I was married, then I would be with the in-laws, but, and they had a big family who, I think, you know, and they still get together. Paige goes with them on Christmas, um, probably about two o'clock, she usually goes with her dad and her, you know, her grandparents and all that good stuff. But I do miss it. I do miss having all the family together and, you know, just rejoicing. It's Christmas time. So, um, every once in a while, I will try to, you know, I will host a dinner and I'll have my friends over, but, you know, it's some family, but for the most part, everyone is doing their own thing. So how is that with you guys? Do you, do you guys still have the big family dinner at, you know, your mom's or your grandmother's or anything like that? See, my mother is passed, so I think, you know, that has a lot to do with it. Because with my grandmother kept everything together. My mom, you know, she was big on tradition. But after she passed, you know, it kind of like dwindled off. You know, my grandmother got older and things just started to change. And now we just really don't get together like that anymore. Every once in a while, we'll get together, you know, for birthdays or things like that. But we don't really get together for the holidays like that. We got together for 
Mother's Day last year at my aunt's uh, senior facility. She lives in a senior building now. She's living it up in, you know, in her uh, retirement. She lives in a retirement facility and they have this big community center and we ended up having Mother's Day there and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. That was, you know, good to be with everyone because we don't do that anymore. So leave me a comment. Let me, got, let me know if you guys still get together with your family or if you just, you know, have your immediate family, you know, husband, kids, whatever, however you do it. Or do you guys still get together and go to grandma's house or, you know, your mom's and all the families come over there? I really like to know because, you know, it's just interesting to me because we don't do that anymore and I rarely hear about it anymore. You know, and I'm just wondering what's really happening to, to tradition. But okay you know, that was just a thought on my mind and so how i hope you guys had a really great day today i said that already but i really do i hope you guys had a really good time i hope you are not letting the holidays stress you out you know even with decorating i talked to someone today about um you know oh, the holidays come i still haven't got my tree up blah, blah, blah. okay it's okay it's okay it's a season you know it's going to pass. Christmas is in 20 days. So don't stress yourself out about it. You know, it, it's it's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be. And that's the thing. We've gotten away so much from what Christmas is really about that we're letting it stress us out. And it's not about being stressed out at all. It's actually about remembering the peace that was brought upon the earth. The peace that was brought to us. And that's what we're supposed to be remembering, not running and fussing and, and, and jumping into the hustle and bustle, you know? So I'm not gonna keep you guys long. I just wanted to jump on and say hi, it's the evening. Um, I'm gonna try to get on earlier with you guys tomorrow because um, it's pretty late. I've uh, washed my face off and all that good stuff. And um, I'm tired and I'm gonna be taking a shower soon. and getting ready for bed uh, we're gonna have dinner in a few minutes um, the potatoes are almost done potatoes take the longest and I am gonna be dipping some of those potatoes in that smack delicious sauce because that's all I'm tasting and it's so good and I cannot wait for the seafood boil I may have to stop and grab something tomorrow just to try that sauce which I don't need but um, that's it guys I um, have really enjoyed you if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up please hit that subscription bell that subscription button so that and the notification bell i'm so tired so that anytime i post a video you will be informed i thank you guys for staying with this channel and i do love you guys for real and i appreciate you watching all righty i'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day number six today is vlogmas day number Gotta get that thumbnail.